We're gonna set up a Shopify wholesale store from start to finish without Shopify Plus, only using two apps and using the same store for both business to business and direct to consumer, all without any dev experience. Is it even possible? Buckle up because I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to set up a wholesale store. First, we'll need to enable customer accounts in Shopify so people can actually create accounts. We've got a snazzy little video about that that I linked in the description. Next, we'll need Sparklayer. Sparklayer will establish wholesale pricing, implement minimum quantities, and manage products. Let's download the app, add it to our store, select a plan that fits our needs, and start the nifty little onboarding process. Next, we'll add a new price list and customer list so we can tag our wholesale customers. Let's assign wholesale pricing to a customer group, which allows us to display different pricing, products, and offers specifically for our wholesale clientele. A 30% discount sounds perfect. By default, Sparklayer relies on the B2B customer tag to assign wholesale pricing to a customer group. We'll talk more about customer tags later on in the video. Now we can go back to manage customer accounts in Sparklayer and finish setting up our store. For speed and ease, we'll use Sparklayer's B2B DOM theme, which will create a new theme complete with Sparklayer widgets, all without having to use any code. Let's clean this up before adding a new page to our navigation bar so wholesalers can quickly find it. Let's create a new page template for our wholesale form before assigning that page to our header. To do that, we'll need to go into our Shopify admin, add a page, and assign it to the wholesale template we just created. After we save, we'll be asked if we want to add the page to the store's navigation. Let's add it to our main menu by adding a menu item and linking it to the wholesale page. Add and save, and now we can check our store to see our changes. Nice! Enter customer fields. We'll use customer fields to collect additional data from prospective wholesale customers, review and approve new wholesale customers, and automatically add the B2B customer tag to approved customers. Customer fields comes with an out-of-the-box template for wholesale, complete with a place to upload proof of tax-exempt status and VAT or tax ID number. When a customer creates an account, custom data is visible within the app's customer directory as well as in Shopify via pinned meta fields. Magical. If you're using the provided wholesale form template, you'll see a rule that will automatically add the B2B tag to approved wholesale customers. Only approved customers will be tagged. Customer records aren't created in Shopify when you deny a wholesale account request. Since Sparklayer is using the B2B tag, having a wholesale tag here is redundant. I'll post a help article in the note for more clarification. Let's add our wholesale registration to our wholesale page in Shopify. Paste in our forms ID. Save, and we're ready to go. I'll link a help article we've written on this specific task. Back on Sparklayer, we'll be prompted to check that everything is working. We can see all the shirts with checked inventory are ready to be ordered at that 30% discount we selected earlier. Let's add a few of those to our cart just to make sure everything's working. Nice. And that's it. You've now got the tools to get out there and slay. Don't forget to subscribe to Helium Dev for more awesome.